Hey guys, it's Chad. I thought I would do something kind of kind of cool, I guess. I want to show one of my PC boxes that I've never shown before, especially not as a whole. Um, this is my nondescript PC, so it's Superstars of Baseball. These are guys that are Hall of Fame, close level to Hall of Fame, or definitely will be in the Hall of Fame, or even some of the guys that like are Hall of Fame level but probably won't get in because of steroid stuff or whatever, so... Uh, it's definitely mixed and matched here. It's about half relics, half autographs. Actually, it's probably more heavy on the autograph side. It's not a whole bunch of cards. It's maybe maybe 50 cards or so. And it's not necessarily the best for last, although most of the autographs are more late in this. So I'll start right into it. But anyway, it's baseball superstars. And the ones that don't seem that high end are because I pulled them myself or got them as a gift or bought them when I was a child. And by child, I just mean, you know, younger maybe a teenager something like that so at the time it was worth a lot or it means a lot to me because when i got it and i've been the only owner of that card so that's why i have some of these that might seem odd but for the most part you're going to see some cool stuff of some superstars maybe cards you don't know i have so if you do have things like this even though they're not my main pc cards i am always kind of looking for individuals like this to pick up especially guys i don't have that fit into that realm of superstar baseball players current and past that maybe will be in the Hall of Fame one day. Start with this. McGuire and Rick Ankew. I will not uh, take too long. Obviously, I'm going to stay on this card for a minute while I'm talking. But I will not take too long going through these. Um, obviously, I know your time is valuable. But I want to make this uh, this video worthwhile. So, please stick with me. I will try to go through them pretty quick without too many details. Just kind of who the player is. And uh, you can see the card, obviously. So, Ankew and McGuire. A-Rod, I-Rod, dual bat. It's a neat set. Here's in-person Greg Maddox and Tom Glavin from different games. Got them in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I grew up outside of Pittsburgh. I was a Braves fan growing up. Been wearing Braves gear at the Pittsburgh game when there was only 5,000 people at the Pirates game. It wasn't hard to get an autograph. So, pretty cool. Uh, again, I was a Braves fan, so... Andrew Jones, a rookie card, on-card autograph. Chipper Jones, in-person, rookie autograph. So, those on the PC. Got a Palmero and an A-Rod. They both have COAs. They're on the back here. Got those a long time ago. They're good certs. I uh, got them in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, long story behind those, but I'll tell you about those later when I'm not trying to speed through these cards. Jake Daubert, obviously from National Treasures. I got some of these from these old relics. I just love these sets. So, Carl Perillo. It's back right there. Pete Rose, Charlie Hustle. And a Pete Rose autograph from Leaf. I guess the lower end, end uh, excuse me, the lower end are kind of at the beginning here. It is a little bit divided, but not completely. Spud Chandler. I pulled that, just thought it was a cool cut. One of the best to ever play that position, Kurt Flood. Defensively, that was a monster. Have the original captain there, well, not the original, but from everything I heard growing up. So he was the man. Thurman Munson died tragically, obviously, but New York Yankees catcher and captain. So we the Yankees, Billy Martin. Fired, hired, fired, hired. It's two of five. He's a tough pull, obviously. I have this Don Mattingly. It's my favorite game used of Donnie Baseball. I've had a bunch. I've traded and given some away through the years, but uh, this out of ten, my favorite Donnie Baseball because it's mixed relics and you know, different types of uh, pieces. So. Roger Maris, bat card. Shoeless Joe Jackson, bat card. Bill Madlock, Jeff Bagwell, I have a few of this guy here, again that Braves fan tie-in plus you know just some cool cards I got of him, so Dale Murphy, just gonna set that right there, that's not with the other Dales so, here's Ichiro, piece of a base, 
pulled that in a pack a long time ago when little relics like this were expensive. It's at 316. Man, it was expensive back then. Pulled this as well. I showed this one other time. It is a legit patch. It is the super, super, super rare and it's pulled in a retail pack. It's numbered out of 75. Piece of a patch like this from Barry Bonds is pretty uncommon. I believe it's 2001 as well. Show this the first relic I ever pulled in my life from a pack. Mike Piazza's a big bat card there. Will Clark, dual jersey, out of five. Piece of the Yankee Stadium, old Yankee Stadium wall. So it's a rod, but commemorating 500 home runs. But that's a piece of the wall, which I thought was cool. So it's more a stadium relic, which I thought was neat. And there's an a rod patch. Nice patch. Great set. Three color. Randy Johnson, nasty patches. Shows him in the Yankee uniform, but obviously the D backs patch is there where he was a world champion and co MVP. There's some more Dale Murphy, Jersey Bat, the red, a Prime Cuts, a little light blue uniform. And starting to get into autographs here. There's a very nasty Dale Murphy with the bat and the jersey. Prime cuts. And then this one I got more recently. Two years waiting on the redemption. So the creases in the plastic on the outside. So a bad autograph just looks perfect though. So I would say worth the wait. Definitely, definitely love that card. And uh we're definitely past halfway as well. So Bucky F and Dent, Yankees. Fred Lynn, Red Sox. Alan Trammell, Detroit. Guy was a beast. Chris Carpenter, Jersey Auto. Cliff Lee, Jersey Auto. With these, I also try to get, uh, you know, so there's a mix in here, but if I had my choice, I like to get a Relic with an on-card auto combo like that last Dale Murphy. That's my favorite. Will Clark with his number. Like that. Great autograph. Yvonne Rodriguez. Maybe the best overall catcher ever. Obviously, you put Johnny Bench, Mike Piazza, and a few other guys in that ca uh, category of conversation. It's a good debate. But he's up there. Clayton Kershaw. Bought that not too long ago from another two brown here. Buster Posey. Gotta have some King Felix in his world uniform. That's cool auto. Edgar Martinez. Obviously been a major Griffey Jr. fan. Saw a lot of Edgar growing up watching the Mariners. There's Edgar again. So I have a couple of him. Not looking to move any of these, but you know, when I have more than one, I could spare one. I could move it for something else. Craig Biggio. He was down here in Houston, not too far from me. John Smoltz. He will be in the Hall of Fame next year, so that will move out of this box and into my Hall of Fame collection. So will Craig Biggio. He missed it by two votes this past year. He'll get in this coming year. Miggy Cabrera. Triple crown winning Miggy Cabrera. Barry Bonds. Another on card. And I think there's about maybe eight to ten cards left. Albert Pujols. Good guy. Mark McGuire. Auto jersey. Same thing, Randy Johnson, auto jersey. Got that from the Nationals in Chicago last time I was there. And I will be there again next year in 2015. Depending when you're watching this, you might be watching it, watching it after 2015. So, Pedro Martinez, I uh, pulled this not too long ago in a box. It's out of 15, I think, or 25. Uh, 15, it's the goal out of 15. 
Probably should have, or maybe should sell it now. I don't really need that high end as far as numbering for Pedro, but he's got to be in the collection, obviously. Another incredible pitcher, Mariano Rivera. A beautiful on-card autograph. Doesn't get too much better than that. Well, I'll try to top it with these last few cards. Chipper Jones. Triple jersey autograph out of five. That was a $400 pickup. May have overpaid on that one. Speaking of four hundred dollars, Derek Jeter, Trooper Jones, dual on card autograph. Derek Jeter, jersey on card autograph. I'll never get rid of this. I met with some of the guys. Uh, you guys have been on here a long time. Might remember this in '08, I think. Maybe '09. It's '08 or '09. I have some videos from it. A bunch of us guys from YouTube met up in new york city and we did some box breaks like we spent like days together and stuff and did all kind of stuff through new york uh there was also you know casino trip out on you know outside the city but uh long story short we went to a shop just just down the street from where the twin towers were so from ground zero and that card shop we bought a bunch of i bought a handful of boxes but i pulled this in new york city right near ground zero New York guy, obviously. New York's beloved player. So, great place to pull that. And because of the story, I just choose to keep that. And then this card, when I was a child, this is a 99 SPX. Vladdy Guerrero. When I got this, man, I put so much money into getting this card and trade and cash for my age at the time. So, and Vladdy was incredible back then, you know, back when the Expos existed. So I got this when it was new, and it was a couple hundred dollar card easily. And uh, yeah, I went all out for this. It was one of my biggest purchases for years to come. Uh, he wasn't even my favorite player. I just I had to get the card, and obviously it's probably worth ten bucks now, maybe, but still, it's worth it at the time. But I want to share these cards with you guys. I know it's been roughly twelve minutes, but I think uh, I think. It's probably some stuff you might enjoy since I usually don't show these types of cards. But I'm interested in similar types of cards, similar players, uh, for baseball only, if you guys have it. So let me know. And if not, hopefully you just enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'd like to see you guys make similar videos if you have the same type of cards, even if it's not baseball. But let me know. Comment below if you make a video like this, kind of showing PC that you've never really shown before. That would be really cool to check out some new cards. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.